G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be cooking some sweet chilli coconut barramundi on the uh, old wood stove there behind me. I've got it going, it's a bit hot in here, but uh, I'll be cooking it in the camp oven on the top of that, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> Alright guys, so like you heard in the intro there, I'm going to be cooking some sweet chilli coconut barramundi. So I've got some here. It's uh, just frozen stuff. I've had, I've had it defrosting, so it should be alright now. So uh, I've got some... I've got the wood stove there going behind me like you saw before. It is very hot in here, um, as you probably guessed. And then I've got the old camp oven on the top there. I'm going to be putting it in there and uh, cooking it in that. So what i got here, i got some coconut cream. You could probably use any sort of brand, really. Bit of salt. Uh, that's just normal table salt. Got some chili flakes. So we're going to put a few of them in there. And some garlic powder. So I'm going to put some of that in there. And I've got some olive oil. That's just to uh, put in the camp oven when I first start cooking. I've got it sitting there warming up at the moment. And then I'll put it on top of the heat. And then for the sweet chili, I just got some plain old sweet chili sauce that you can get pretty well anywhere. And then, like I said, some barramundi. So it's all cryovac. I got it out last night, had it defrosting and stuff. So it's going to be pretty good to go. I'll probably cut that up a little bit smaller into more like chunks sort of thing, and then put them in there. Start cooking them first, and uh, when they start to cook so they they're not going to be fully cooked straight away so then when they're about half cooked I'll put all the rest of this stuff in then just let it sort of boil through then cook through the rest of it all right so what I might actually do I'll put the camp oven on there get it getting, get it nice and hot straight on there take that lid off I'll just put a bit of put a bit of olive oil in there Like that, just align the, and I'll just give it a rub around, rub around all the outside and the bottom of the camp oven. Oh, that's a bit hot. It's very hot, very hot. Oh well. Need a little stick or something, I reckon. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Nothing. Well, for starters, so don't do that. That's uh, it's hot. It's all right. So anyway, so like I said, what I'm going to do is just sort of cut it up, just into little little chunks like that. So I've got about. Uh, five, six, half fillets sort of here. So I'm just going to cut all them up. So I'll just cut them up and then I'll get back to yours. Alright, so now that i got all them cut up. Got a, got a pretty decent sized pile there. You can, you can use however much you want really. It's not going to not gonna matter. It all depends on how many people you're trying to feed. Uh, what you can nearly could do as well, uh, have some rice on the boil. Just some white rice or whatever. And then you can just add that in there with it, but I'm not going to do any rice. But that's just uh, that's just me. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll put a bit more oil in this camp oven. In there. Then I'm just going to put this put this fish straight in there. So I'm just going to put the lid on that. All right. I'm just going to let that cook for a bit. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm, I'm going to chuck a bit of salt in there with it. And then probably a bit of garlic powder as well. Help I took the cap off. Just 
Tastes like garlic. All right, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this on there while it's cooking. I did there I just uh, you put a fair bit in you can put a fair bit garlic powder salt or whatever your preference is really I put a fair bit of both in there so I just moved that off the heat there a little bit so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some of the coconut cream in probably use about you can use about three quarters if you want like I said depending on how much you how much you're cooking up but I'm gonna use about three quarters that's um lucky I got that there an old bloody old rusty you know, can opener you just punch the hole in it so I'm gonna put about yeah put about three quarters of the coconut cream in like that so yeah like I said about three quarters so I put it back on the full heat uh, I just took it off while I was talking So like I said, about three quarters, but it depends on how much you're cooking for. Alright, so I should have mixed it up a bit. Make sure you give it a good shake first, otherwise it's sort of just... Tastes like coconut. I'm going to put a bit bigger hole in that. Bit of a slow process. You know what, bugger, I'll just use the whole can. Right, so a whole can of coconut cream. And I'll sprinkle some chili flakes in there. You don't need a overly great deal of chili flakes. Um, then a good fair bit of sweet chili sauce. So I don't know if Use a fair bit anyway, so you get that flavour in there. All right, I put a fairly good bit in there. So now I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir around. I'll, I'll bring the camera over actually and give you a bit of a look of what I'm doing over here. I was going to use the GoPro, but you know, I thought, nah, this will do. That's all I've done there. Can't really see that at all, can you? Alright, I'll give you some light. Alright. Bit hard to see, not much light, but we got we got the cream in there and a fair bit of sweet chili sauce in there. So I don't want to really set the camera up too close over that's it's a bit uh bit hot. I don't really want to damage the camera. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a stir. Alright, so like you saw there, there's a whole tin of coconut cream and then a yeah, fair, fair, fair splash of uh, sweet chilli. I don't know how much exactly I put in there, but I put a, put a fair bit. So, what I'm going to do now, I've got that back on the full heat. I'm just going to let that simmer away for a while until the fish is fully cooked. And I probably could have put a little bit more fish in there for the amount of cream I put in there. But that's alright. I was going to do sweet chili coconut prawns, but uh, I didn't get any prawns, so I had some fish there. So I cooked that up. So the ingredients, again, I'm just cooking some barramundi in there. So I've got some sweet chili sauce, some salt, however much you want, garlic powder, however much you want again, uh, chili flakes, now you can put, like I said, up to preference, however, however hot you want it. 
and then just got some olive oil in there that I lined the the camp oven with. So now once that heats up, you'll start just cooking all the fish right through. So I'm gonna get back to you once it's cooked and uh, we'll plate some up, we'll bowl some up and have a taste. I might chuck a bit more wood in that fire just to get a bit more heat in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, see how she tastes. All right, I'll give it a bit of a check now. Smells awesome. Give it a stir. Well, the fish is nice and flaky now, so I reckon she's about cooked. Smoke's burning my eyes. So I'll chuck the lid back on. I've got a bit of a table set up over here. That already tastes good. So, like I said, I've got a table set up over here, so I'm going to chuck the camp oven on that. Bowl some up and uh, have a taste. Alright. Alright, so I just got a bit of a bit of a bowl, a spoon. So I'll bring these in a bit close so you can see the uh big reveal. Alright, so let's take this off. Oh She's a bit unlevel, but she's all right. So, straighten this up a bit. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. So it's turned out, turned out reasonably well. You just can't see my face, sorry, but that's all right. So what I'm gonna do, gonna leave a dirt in my bloody bowl. I'll get some semi nice chunks out of this. Put that lid back on. It's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Put that back on there. Now I'll straighten this camera back up. Well, that's what we got here. It turned out pretty good. So, fish is all nice cooked. So. All right, all right, so now, time for the big, uh, big taste test, I think. So it turned out pretty nice. A bit hard to see. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, that is really good. I think I couldn't have got that any more perfect than that. I think that's got to be one of the best things I've ever cooked. Maybe a bit too much chili flakes. She got a bit of a, <clears throat> a bit of a kick in the throat, but that's all right. I'll tell you what, that is awesome. Very creamy with that coconut milk in there. Coconut cream, sorry. Then I've got plenty of sweet chili sauce in there. Very simple, but very good. Like I said, I was going to do this with prawns, but I think fish just went went good as well. So that's just Barra Monday. I just brought it out of one of those frozen packets. And they've just got the little, like well, I showed you, the little cryovac bags in it with the, the each half a fillet of fish in it. And I've just cut them up real fine, put them in here. You probably don't even have to cut them up because it's just flaked off into the little pieces like I showed you. So just like that. It's a... Uh, very good. All I did first, like you saw, I just put the chunks of fish in there, let them sort of start cooking a bit, and I put the garlic, the garlic powder, the salt in there, and then I put the coconut cream, chili flakes, and the sweet chili sauce, and then just let it simmer away until she, um, until she was cooked through. I tell you what, I could probably eat that whole camp oven to myself, but um, I've got to share some of it around. This stuff would be really good on a, I don't know, if you're out bush or something, or even at home, on a cold winter's day. This stuff would be great. Alright, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this. So if you want to see any more cooking videos, let me know down in the comments or on my Facebook or Instagram. 
They are linked down below in the description box. So anyway, let me know if you want to see me cook anything else. I've got a few other ideas for things I want to cook. Anyway guys, it's got the old sinuses running. So there's plenty, plenty of biting it. Let me know if you want to see me cook anything else and any other recipes or whatever else you want me to try. So anyway guys, smash that like button. Press that subscribe button down below. Press the little bell button next to it so you're notified every time I upload a new video, which is pretty well weekly. Uh, share with your friends. I'll leave some playlists. I'll leave a playlist up the top. It's on that side. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end the video. I wanna get into this food. So anyway guys, stay wild, and I'll see you next time. Ah.